Today we will learn how to create underlined text fields with the left image icon such as shown in here. As you can see, there's a nice gap in between the icons and the email address similar to the password field. And as soon as the password is entered, the login button appears. This is something we will cover later for the login process. But today we will focus on creating these beautiful underlined text fields. So let's get started. Uh, I have for you guys a starter project where we have two text fields along with some labels and a button. These labels are already wired to the view controller file. We have a couple of ways we can create uh, the underlying text field. The one is you can create a function in the main view controller and then reuse that function. But the problem with that is you will have to call that function on every single UI text field which you will call later on in your code or which you will create one in storyboard. So we will use another approach by creating a custom class which will inherit from UI text field and we can assign that class to as many as text fields we want which will have designated functions to do the stuff we want it to do. So let's get started. I will create a new class. This will be a Swift file and we will create it custom text fields. Here we need to define a class called custom similar to our file name. So custom text fields. This will inherit the class from UI text field. And for this class, in order for the code to be used for a storyboard rendering, we will require a coder. So we will initiate it with the required init coder. And we will call the super class on it. Here we will call a function to create the bottom layer of our text field. So we will call this function called setup underline text field. And this function does not exist yet. So we will create this function at the bottom. Okay, so now we have the function. This is where we will perform our code to create the underline. In order to create the underline, we will utilize the CA layer of core graphics or core animation layer. CA layer is something you can define multiple properties on it and assign this layer as a sub layer to the main parent view, in our case UI text field. So we will create a CA layer called bottom layer. This bottom layer will have a property called frame which is of type cg rect and we will give it a position at x0 so basically we want it to start at the beginning of the ui text field and the y position we want it to where the ui text field height ends so basically right on the border of the ui text field so we will do self dot frame dot height for the width we want it to be the frames width However, we want to subtract 35 points from it. So the reason why we are subtracting 35 is because in our main dot storyboard, we have 35 points margin on each side for these text fields. If you subtract the 35 number, you will see your text fields layer. The bottom layer will be 35 points away from this border. So basically little towards the right hand side. That's why we are putting 35 and for the height, we just want this layer to be of size one. Next, we will give it a background color of type UI color dot black. Since this is a CA layer, so we need the CG color property of it. We will add this layer as a sub layer to our UI text field. So if we run our project, you can see now underlying text fields presented in here. 
next thing we are going to fix is to set up an image view on the left hand side so we will create a function for that called setup left image view this will create this will take an image as the parameter of type ua image and the reason why we are using this function is because if we want to add multiple UI text fields, all we have to do is call this text field function on each of them and then we can assign our custom image as a left view on that text field. So what we need to do is we need to make sure the left view mode is always. So this means the left left view which is an image view for the text field is always visible. What we will do next is we will create a UI image view and assign an image which user has given when they call this function to it. So this will be shown on the left hand side of the UI text field. Here we have the X coordinate for the left image view to zero. So we really want it to start from the left hand side. However, the Y point, we want this to be big as the height of the frame. However, we want to divide it by two and 10 points. So it will look nicer and it will look a little bit as it's in the middle of the UI text field. Finally, we can create a, a property for the tent color to be black and the very important is we want this left views image equal to the image which user will place in and finally we will want this to be added as a sub view to our ui text field so if we go to view controller dot file here we can call that function on our text field and we can assign a system image called envelope similarly we were we can assign another image to our password text field we will name it lock and let's run our project and see what we have okay so seems like i have a typo in here and here you go you can see we have lock icon and the mail icon appearing however there is an issue for the email text field placeholder and the password placeholder also if we type a text in it you will see the icons are on top of our text let us fix that next in order to fix the placeholder rectangle and the text rectangle we will utilize a function called text rect and placeholder rect there is a third function we can also utilize for editing rect so i'm going to place a mark in here called fix layout we will fix the placeholder rect first as you can see this function it takes bounds as the parameter so we will create that and it returns a cg rect so we will create let bounds is equal to cg rect for the bounds we want this to uh, 25 points away so we can create a constant called padding up in the top so i will say let padding of type cg float is equal to 35 and the x value we can assign it to self dot padding for the y point we want nothing and for the width we want as wide as its bounds similarly for the height bounds dot height and finally we will return this bounds so if we run our application again you can see now we have a gap in between the placeholder and the icon however we still need to fix the text entry and once the user starts typing the text in order to fix that we can utilize the function editing rect and similarly the text rect all this code will be similar so i'm just gonna copy and paste this 
because we want this view to nothing else but the same 20 or 35 points away from the left hand side and if we rerun our application now you can see the text field placeholder is fixed and once the user stops typing the text does not move on the left hand side that's all for this tutorial from me guys and let me know if you want to know how you can enable or disable this login button based on the user's input and i hope you learned something please don't forget to subscribe or comment in the comment section below thank you so much